Welcome back everyone 623. It was a weekend like none other for our very own Demetria Obalor. A Facebook post ignited a serious conversation worldwide. The area prepare for slowdown, especially at 80. All right, you know her as daybreak's new traffic anchor with a lot of personality. Just when you thought your commute was on fleek. But now the world knows her as the latest woman to face body shaming. The controversy is coming from people who aren't too happy with the way that I look on television saying, oh, her body is too big for that dress or she's too curvy. It started with another woman's post saying Demetria looks ridiculous in her clothes. This is the way that I'm built. This is the way that I was born. I'm not going anywhere. Chance the Rapper tweeted about it, and like that, it went viral. You're Millions clicked on Demetria's message. News organizations around the world wrote about her. Thousands of people now praising her bravery. I'm here with Pastor Shante Buckley. Hey, Demetria, I just wanted you to know you really encouraged me by speaking up and standing up for yourself and saying exactly what you need to say about who you are. It sparked a conversation about judging women by the way they look. And now, the campaign to stop it. You know what? I just want to thank everyone who's reached out to me with so much love and support and have shared their stories. I mean, this isn't the first time body shaming has happened, and it's not going to be the last, I mean, by any means. This is a huge issue, and, you know, I work on TV. People can see me, and you can pick me apart. I can take it if it puts a spotlight on this issue, because what I'm thinking about or the girls, my future mm. children, your children, who are going to be going through the same sorts of things. And you know, for a long time, you didn't see curvier people on television. And it's like just now, they're starting to make, you know, <laughs> curvier clothes to fit, you know, women like me and, and so many others. And we should be reaching out, embracing, you know, we need to stick together as women as everyone. Boy, isn't that the truth? And, and once again, just so so grateful. And if I can help in any way, I'm, I'm all the way here well, for it. Well, I think it's safe to say you already have. I and mean, you were in church yesterday. I'm in church. Experience. I'm in church with Pastor Buckley at Lift Church in West Dallas. And the message was about um, the only person you have to please is God, right? And you said God made you the way you are, except you are. Not, and I'm thinking in my in my head, you know, this sounds like what Demetri is dealing with this weekend. And then your picture showed up <laughs> as big as day behind her. <laughs> And everybody wow. stood up in applause and cheered that message. So you were part of a Sunday sermon in wow. West Dallas. I, it, it's, it's a humbling experience, but it's not about me, okay? And I'm not mm -hmm. taking it like it's about me. It's about seeing different sorts of people. And in my video, I said, you know, when you look a little different, people, people think they can talk to you different. a little different, okay? And we have to set a standard that that is not acceptable because for so long, it, it was and it, it has been, but no more. You know, Demetria, you're every woman, kind of like the song goes. And I think, and I was <laughs> thinking to myself this weekend, I was like, where was Demetria? I wanted someone like Demetria when I was growing up. I think all of us in our own way feel a little bit different. And we do face a lot of that shaming. And for some strange reason, kind of like the Dallas Morning News hit upon their opinion piece. You've dealt with it. A lot it. of time it comes from other women. I have dealt with it mm -hmm. a, a lot, but a lot of times it comes from other females, so maybe we take a lesson also that we lift each other up and yes. help each other Instead move Instead of tearing forward. each other down. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you're entitled to your opinion, if you have an opinion, but when you say something that is received as, you know, ill-intended, you know... And let's make one thing clear before we go here. This was not Demetria responding to one person. This was her waking up from a nap, and that person's negative post had already started to go viral, and she simply answered to it. But there was a theme emerging since you started here mm -hmm. that really was along the same lines, about your hair and about the way you yes. dress but it, um, and, and, your, and so forth. And here's the thing also. You are so good at what you do. Well, you are a you. pro. I take my job very seriously, and I just want to take a moment to say, you know what, Ron? Um, you've been bearing a little bit of neckline. All right, it might be a little bit too much. Your neck is looking a little bit curvy. Where's the tie? Where is the tie? Touche. <laughs>